Previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. You know, Professor, laying siege to a keep is like asking a girl out on a date. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Time for another lesson in Sylvain's Bros Academy. First, you get past your defenses, then you make your move. Then you make your move. That's not the best analogy. You might be goddamn right. See, you get it. Yeah. Our <laughs> on the other hand. He's never been good with the lady. God damn it, yes! Guys, you thought Sylvain was done saying that line, but you better guess. <laughs> See, yeah, you just get a professor. You just like know the analogies are like a man. Now, now onwards, class. class. To, to war! <laughs> hey, baby, baby, I hope I you're ready, ready to rock, rock and, and roll. roll. Actung! Hello! Sneako B. Back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we freaking murdered the shit out of Casper's uh, childhood friend, Lidhart, and he deserved a demon knife. <laughs> yeah, apparently, uh, Casper and Lidhart were like childhood friends, so I pretty got Casper to, to kill his best pal. Oh, well. <laughs> Just another day in Fire Emblem land, right? I tell you what. <laughs> and we also killed the Death Knight, which... Thank fuck, right? I'm getting so tired of that stupid asshole. Always coming back and talking so much shit like like I hadn't already beat him eight times beforehand. Um, one thing you guys point out that I, I didn't notice, and I should have paid attention to this, was that uh, the Death Knight actually did not have his scythe in the fight. It wasn't like he just whipped out some second scythe that he had. Like, like oh yeah, this isn't actually a unique item. It's just some really jacked, <laughs> jacked bladed weapon with a cool name. You can buy it at any store. No, he actually didn't have it anymore because of that paralogue. He he loses the weapon and used a different one. I think he, he used actually a, a brave lance instead. That's cool. I actually really like that. I think it would have been really easy for them to just go like, yeah, whatever, you know, <laughs> that shit didn't affect anything. But actually, no, it, so it wasn't even just that, though. It turns out that paralogue was necessary in order to see the death scene with Mercedes. Now, that one I don't quite get. <laughs> that one I don't really understand. Why exactly? I, I guess... I guess the point was that the because Mercedes met with him beforehand in that paralogue, it started to like break the cracks of the Death Knight's like demon facade, I guess. I guess we don't even honestly have any answer as to why he became this way. I don't think I don't think right. I don't think we have an answer to that. I don't think he was brainwashed. I think he just chose to do it. Right. <laughs> Did he forget Mercedes? I mean, no, I, I don't think. <laughs> and actually, the more I think about it, I'm like, wait, was that really necessary? Was it really that like necessary to break through his, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what did we accomplish with that paralogue other than Casper getting the, the side? I'm not really sure because I still have so little answers about why her brother, Emil, even became the Death Knight to begin with. Why did he beca and became the Yuritsa? And then became the Death Knight, or was I think he was still the Death Knight, was just undercover as a professor. I don't know, maybe we'll get that answer in another playthrough or something. But I just look at it from as it is now, it's sort of hard for me to understand why that paralogue affected uh, Mercedes seeing the ending here, or, or getting Mercedes like holding her brother as he died, which I think you guys did say was just a blue lines only thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the more I think about it, the more confused I get. But anyway, that was the thing I saw, which was which is good. I, I honestly thought the only reason you guys didn't want me to see that paralogue was just to get Casper to get up, get the scythe or something, which it, it, well, Casper's not even fucking using, right? It's weird too, because I mean, Casper, right? Does he have a propensity for lances at all? I still find it fucking weird they had Casper in for this. Like, why Casper? How did he have any connection to this shit? Uh, no, he's just, no, <laughs> he does not. I mean, be fair, Casper was like, just based on what he's good at, was literally made to be a fucking war master, right? Fist and axe. He punched and smashed, and that's it. That's a weird paralogue, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I'm not saying I disliked it. It just felt sort of weird, because again, Casper and Mercedes have no fucking supports together. So it just feels like kind of out of nowhere. And then the fact that I wouldn't have seen Mercedes holding her dead brother, and then, I don't know. I'm sure the comments will be like, well, Nico, it's fucking obvious, all right? You stupid asshole. God, it's so easy to see. Why can't you see it? Why can't you see the full picture? I know I played through all the roots 18 times, so obviously I would have the full picture. Why don't you? But I believe that this is actually the last month um, of the game, of, well, this route. 
Uh, I think after this is done, I think it's just a straight shot to the end. So from what I've heard from people talk about, it, they think there's probably if, if I manage to get to the end of this month and do the story battle, there is probably just going to be in total about two more episodes for the Blue Lions route. So damn. Wow. We've been playing this game for seven months, guys. <laughs> That's what I sort of realized when I was going to do my uh, my anniversary video. I was like checking out like, how long have I been doing this game? This game, it's funny how I actually feel like I haven't been doing this game as long as I did Judgment, but I actually have I actually been doing this a month longer than Judgment, which I think also just goes to show how uh, by the end of Judgment, I was much more burned on it than I probably am with this game. Though, to be fair, I still don't plan to go and jump into another route after I finish this one because I, I am going to need a little bit of time. As much fun as I, I have had with it, I will say I think the late game of this game isn't nearly as good as the early stuff in terms of gameplay, mind you. Um, I, I think the gameplay, like, once you sort of hit where you want to be, it's just kind of like, like, even the skill that I got for S+, plus, was just okay it wasn't anything i was hoping it was gonna be some like really crazy shit or something it's just like gives you a plus five for sword attacks which is which is good i mean it's, it's all right it just wasn't anything like i mean it's i literally had that base move in my uh uh my class right so it wasn't anything like special it was just like hey here's that move again um so that was a little disappointing. I, I I almost imagine that that's what's going to be for most of these classes, right? If you do for one of the archer classes, you get plus five to bow attacks or or something. Uh, I guess maybe for like Mercedes, she's she's almost got uh, S plus in, in faith, I think. Maybe it would be like plus five faith skills. <laughs> or maybe just like a repeat of whatever your, uh, whatever the class skill is let's see maybe she gets another two times white magic use <laughs> so you can use it four times perhaps i don't know i mean she's getting there i might be able to get it actually no i probably won't i've only got a month left i'm not gonna be able to get to it but i, I feel like the late game of this hasn't been like i don't know i just feel like i've, I've like I've, I've hit the point I, there's not really much else i can do right <laughs> i can get stronger all the weapons have pretty much remained the same throughout uh, the entirety of it i will say i, I I, I, I still find the wood steel, though, to be the, the hardest thing to come by in this. Maybe it was from fight, just fighting some of those later monsters uh, and some of these red paralogs that I haven't really done in a while. I don't know. I still, even in the times when I was fighting it, though, it was always dropping like one or two or something. And it's used for a lot of shit. I don't really want to fuck around with it, though. I don't want to fuck around with these too much. I think I'm... I think I'm plenty strong by this point. I don't think I need to do any more auxiliary battles. Demetrius basically a god by this point. So see now that he's got his uh, his counterattack move again. All oh, right, one thing yes did point out that I didn't realize uh, was that uh, uh, Seth was still in Wyvern uh, Rider instead of Wyvern Lord. Uh, I forgot to switch him over to it after he mastered it. So I went in and did that. He's he's throwing he is put over there. And by the way, I saw some of you were like, Nico doesn't plan to use Sedith or something. No, it's, it's not that. I'm I'm honestly just using who I feel like I need for the situation now that. It, it doesn't really like I'm not really trying to get supports anymore. So I'm just kind of like, all right, who works best for what situation? Oh, I think another thing you guys told me is apparently this month I actually choose at the end of this month is when I choose my S rank, which I will say kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks because that means that uh, if I want to if I would want to see other endings, I'd have to play through like a bunch of battles. I was kind of hoping it would be like at the very, very end. You would like decide that So that kind of blows. And I think for that reason, I might only just see one ending. <laughs> one of the S-Ren endings for myself. Uh, yeah, because I just don't want to... I'm sorry. I don't want to repeat it and go have to go back and re refight all the final bosses again just to see it. If that is what I have to do, which is what it sounds like. I'm sorry, okay? I really like this game. I love the shit out of it, but I just don't want to do it, okay? Don't make me do it! Uh, anyway, last episode, uh, Lucid Clockwork said... <laughs> Sorry, this one got me good. <laughs> Tea times in a nutshell, lol. <laughs> Marianne, I want to die. <laughs> Your options are laugh, nod, praise. <laughs> you have hit the nail on the fucking head. That is pretty much in this game. It's like, whatever the right answer is, is not going to be any of the options there. You know, it's like, whatever you think it is, it's not going to be in the options, all right? Which I, all the, I've noticed something. All the ones that I feel like make sense are pretty much always nod, right? They're always nod or maybe like disagree if that was one. Like, that, which are just basically yes or no to whatever it is they're fucking saying. But then the other ones are just weird. Like, praise, laugh, 
like, is there ever a moment where you go laugh, I guess? Like, he says some funny joke. May Alois, right? May Alois says something, and you're supposed to just laugh at it to his stupid joke. Or sip tea? When the fuck is that an option? When, when do I sip tea? I mean, let's, I guess they say, hey, professor, this tea is super dank, right? And sip tea. Or, no, I, even that I can say not to, right? No, I pray. No, stupid. You had to say praise. You praise the tea. Like, fuck you. <laughs> this makes no sense. Anyway, uh, Lucy Clockwork, thank you for pointing out just how hilariously stupid some of these fucking tea times are. And it is for that reason you are. Comment of the day. All right, you guys also point out another thing. So apparently at the, uh, the ending cutscenes or something, um, they're, for whatever reason, the game decides to auto scroll through uh, dialogue. Um, and it usually happens so fast that let's players are like unable to read it so uh, apparently to bypass that all i have to do is press a once uh when that happens to just like show all the message at once i guess uh so i don't have to uh, <laughs> uh i don't have to uh frantically try to read it super fast so okay thank you for telling me that i'll i'll try to remember that for when i get there also apparently in this next uh story fight uh there is an assassin that has dialogue with shamir of all people so uh, i'll try to remember to bring her along <laughs> just looking back through the comments there's some people a lot of people actually miss that that fucking uh acknowledgement from her city that is super weird the more i'm thinking about it, it's super weird that they fucking did this why like it's true i even mentioned how that the ending of the mercedes like was like that would like i'm glad they did that that would have felt really weird without it it normally would have been if you didn't get the stupid paralogue if you didn't get this really weirdly strict contingency of recruiting casper right getting him to your side Make sure Mercedes stayed alive. Make sure Casper stayed alive. Then having that weird paralogue that involved two characters that didn't have supports with each other. Only then would you get Mercedes acknowledging her dead brother. That's so fucking weird. Why did they design it that way? Like, I'm all aboard, like, cool hidden secret shit, you know, to that sheds light on characters and signs you don't see it all the time in every playthrough. But it's got to make a little bit of sense, right? This feels like it just, like out of butt fuck nowhere right and it's a if i feel like a vital character moment for mercedes too like this is her fucking brother why would she just be like in other t if she just see that parallax like ah whatever fuck off <laughs> i'm not gonna hold him in his arms he's i don't ha i don't know this person <laughs> also apparently in welsh the dd from uh uh the dd sound is is got a th sound which is why it's blathed and not bladed i apologize to all my welsh penguins also fia's cat is casper's cat and rea cat is like this Cynthia's cat thank you this is the cat lore i've been fucking dying for thank you anyway let's get on with the game <laughs> uh i switched uh set it to his uh wyvern lore class a little overdue but i got it um is there anything new in the shop uh not really that's another thing in this game like <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I would say it's a bad thing. It's just a, it's an interesting design choice I've never seen. I don't think I've ever seen an RPG before where the, the weapons don't really change a whole lot, right? Like I basically saw all the weapons in, in the game, aside from some unique weapons that popped up, uh, by like the halfway point, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I did end up getting a few, uh, a few unique ones. I think after those last few fights. All right. Definitely don't want Dimitri, uh, He's up his thing. I gotta make sure he doesn't... Don't run out of uh, endurance but before the end of the game, Demetri, all right? Come on. Ugh. Well, the Gradivus is likely not gonna be getting repaired. I need 10 Mithril, and this shit is super rare. Probably would've been a little more stingy with it if I'd realized that the Dark Merchant guy was... What he sold was Arcane Crystals, not Mithril. All right, I got the Axe of Zoltan. I was like, remember, what was that I got? Definitely gonna be able to upgrade this shit, though. Um, It's good. I mean, it's definitely strong. Doesn't mean critical though. And that, honestly, like the killer stuff in this game is, I feels fucking busted, <laughs> especially on certain characters like Shamir. I mean, just like you give her a killer lance or a killer bow, and on Dimitri, they're just they're unstoppable. Just critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. You don't really need anything else. And I can buy an infinite number of killer bows and shit. All right, this, I have this too. The Aurora Shield nullifies effectiveness against flyers. Yes. Yes, yes. One of my flyers needs to get that. Who do I want to give it to? Seth, Cyril, or uh, Mercedes, or uh, Ingrid? I think we give it to Cyril, actually. He doesn't really need that knowledge gem anymore. I can't believe fucking Demetri got a rally ability this late in the game. It's like, good lord. See, so it'd be such a high level to be able to get it, too. Have I still not mastered his class, his great lord class? Can I think about it? Oh my god, he's so close. <laughs> he is so fucking close. I can't believe this. God, it, Level, 
level for this must have been a lot because he's had a, he's been off for quite a while. All right, time for what I believe will be the uh, final exploration of the game. <laughs> One last time to talk to all my fucking pals. Hey, Ash. Returning to the monastery brings back so many memories from five years ago. Hard to believe we only spent a year together here. I know, just like a Persona game. So much happened that it felt a lot longer than that. But it was all so exciting and so much fun. Oh, Lord, everyone's going to have some super like, like, we're heading into the end game kind of dialogue, isn't it? God, I feel like we all learned something, Professor. Yeah, yeah, I didn't learn shit. Honestly, I think those memories are what's kept me fighting this long. What was that year like for you, Professor? Suck. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It sucked my ball. <laughs> it was challenging. This game is hard as dicks. Especially, if, God, if you're on maddening difficulty, this is what you would say. Be like, fuck you, Ash. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I could ask for a better answer. Let's all do our best to survive <laughs> this. So we can come back here when it's all over. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was. I was like, it was a lot of fun. So choice, it sucked ass. <laughs> it was the worst. Everyone was so fucking needy. Cats kept talking to me. Demetri kept denying my advances. Nobody fucked each other this game. Just, it all sucked. All right, it fucking sucked. I spent 55 episodes for fucking nothing. Thanks, ass. Damn it. <laughs> Stress, look at that little girl in the back. <laughs> look how weird she looks with her. I mean, I, she she's sitting, but something about her feet seems unnatural, right? Like, they're not dangling. They just look like she... It looks more like she's just kind of floating there, to be honest. See, look at this. That, now this shit, the end of the game, ruining my immersion. Thanks a lot, little girl. You're welcome. Insert name here. <laughs> I know that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. So I, remember, uh, I did this last time, and then I fucking regretted it. So, okay. Ash, you need... Yes, you do need gifts. Let's all do I know that. I know, I know. Because <laughs> I did this the first time where I was like, I ran by everybody, I did the talking, but then I realized, oh shit, I gotta give everyone gifts. And then I had to go by, back and find them again and give them the fucking gifts. And I don't want to have to do that. Here, Ash, have a tasty baked, tasty baked treat. Wow. Who knows how long I've had this sitting in my wow. fucking inventory? It's a little crunchy. Shut up, you love it. You fucking love it. That's what the guy on IGN said. You think IGN would lie, Ash? Don't answer that question. <laughs> Seriously, what's this little girl? <laughs> well, hello there. It's just, it's the feet. I think it would look fine if the feet dangled a bit, but the feet. <laughs> like, I think they like, like they treated her model like she's a normal like person with her feet would actually be able to touch the ground, but. <laughs> All right, you think I wouldn't notice, huh, game makers? Think I wouldn't see this shit. Can't even talk to this girl. You're fucking useless to me. Just like you, Earthworm Jim. Ah, uh, here's what's left of Linhart's room. Well, now he's dead. He doesn't need all these fucking useless books. They're all mine now. It's still all of y Linhart's sweet yaoi porn. Mmm. Bernie, it's the last month. You gotta come out of your room. Professor, my, um, my mother might be in the city. Oh, shit. Stay in the room. Yeah, never mind. I don't have many good memories of her, if I'm being honest. But she's dearer to me than my father. If you happen to see her, please make sure she's not caught up in all the fighting. She's only a civil servant, so hopefully she takes a cue from her Bernie and stays inside. <laughs> I still love how Bernie refers to herself as Bernie. Oh, tell you guys say, you know, like, like, well, Professor, this like it's time to be in the old dusty trail. <laughs> what are you talking about, Bernie? This is it, baby. End of the game. But you know what? I think I learned something really important this this playthrough, Professor. What do you What do you mean this playthrough? I think I learned that there's more to life. Than being locked up in a fucking room playing Xbox all day. What I really should be doing is being locked up in a room playing a Nintendo Switch all day. Hey, there you go. That's the way to fucking chill. Hell yeah, bitch. See ya. Slams the door in my face. I just hear fucking Smash Bros. in the back. Joker. Oh, Bertie, you a fucking Joker, man. Even though I'm in that game, fuck you. <laughs> <gasps> Kitty McGrade. Ah, uh, is this gonna be our last meeting? It's gonna be our last meeting forever. It's gonna be that's Bernie Cat, I think, right? That's right, Bernie Cat. And who the fuck are you? God damn it! St yeah. Even now, even after all this time, you still haven't learned that to make your hitbox is less hard to get. Hi there. Mr. Kitty, hi there! Shut up and talk to the cat. Just, there we go. Uh, who the fuck are you, Hevering? I don't. I have never seen you before. Oh wait, are you the are you the white cat that I thought was holier than thou? And is actually Lysithia? But you kind of gray on one. I thought one was like pure white. I don't know what Hevering is. I don't think. Don't quote me on that. It's somebody in my already in my fucking group, right? I don't want the fucking penguins giving me shit again. I am so goddamn sick of it. 54 episodes of the shit given. So sick of it. 
Especially you, Mr. Kitty. Y'all sick of all you. I'm glad I don't have to come back here again. See you, stupid faces. All right? Now I'm going to see you all again. There ain't going to be another playthrough. You all going to fade from my mind. All right. Fine. You got me. In truth, I'm going to miss you guys the most of all. I feel like even though I've paid you for pretty much all this playthrough, I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't talk to my bikini brigade in between battles. What am I going to do in real life? Get a job? The best job I can get is working at a fucking cold stove. Because then a kid can point to my hair and be like, Daddy, I want that flavor. But really, that, that's neither here nor there, Mr. Kitty. I think the point I'm trying to say is, I've enjoyed our time together. Even if most of that time was just you complaining to me about stupid shit. What do you mean? I, was, I wasn't complaining. You complaining. You complain all the time. They're saying a whole bunch of shit to me. Did you forget, Mr. Kitty? Did you all forget? <laughs> Mr. Kitty, you just never change, do you? Not in this game and not any other Let's Play. You're always the same. Okay, that just sounds silly, right? It, you're saying that I've been making all this shit up every time I talk to you. Like, you're not actually saying anything. You're just meowing to me. That's fucking crazy, all right? You're talking crazy talk, Mr. Kitty. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you all in maybe another playthrough. Maybe. Maybe in the other timeline, the Kitty Brigade takes over the world or something. Wouldn't that be a fun little romp we could have? I look forward to that day. Or that extra bit of DLC where that happens. Make it happen, Nintendo. Come on. All right, how my planties doing? Uh, why for Rona? I'm going to fix more of those fucking uh, staff boosting things. Uh, I guess I'll plant some more stuff. Although, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back to harvest it. Uh, root vegetables. I'm sure Gilbert's going to have me get some more fucking groceries for him, too. Hey, Professor, I need you to head to Mickey D's. Get me a number five with extra side of fries, uh, pickle, no mayonnaise. I wonder what the emperor looks like. I bet she's really scary. She looks a lot like Princess Leia now, actually. Oh, you don't think so? I've never seen her, so I was just guessing. She tried to destroy the kingdom and the alliance, and ordered the capture of the archbishop, right? I don't know. Someone who could do such ah, terrible yeah. things just has to be really scary looking. Whatever, kid. Whatever. I still don't know what you're doing here, and why you're breathing my goddamn air. Mr. Kitty? Mr. Kitty? Are you a new one? I think if I talk to you. A Bridget Shorthair. I'm finding a bunch of new cats here that I hadn't, uh, well, I hadn't actually examined the names yet. Bridget. Uh, which one's Bridget? I think that one actually sounds familiar. Uh, no one from my group here. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm going to miss the random stupid NPC dialogue most of all, I think. And this owl that con consistently poops on my head. Uh, Raphael said. Me never gonna eat fish from the fucking water again. Oh, it's all right, Raphael. I'm sure in a later playthroughs, I'll actually get to know you even better. And see you interact with other people other than me and, like, one other person. We're heading up to Embar next. I hope I make it back safe so I can tell my little sis about it. I hear they got a neat opera house there, where Manuela used to perform. What was it called again? Opera house? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. The Mitter, Mitter Flock. Uh, opera company. Middle Frank. Mildew plank. Mildew plank. I think it's this one. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Mildew Frank. <laughs> My sis or prank. goes on about how much she'd like to see him perform. I know we can't see a show, but do you think we could at least see the building? No. You know, Matt Ma Ma Well doesn't give a shit about any of us. There's another one. Go Gonorillon. Gonorillon. Gonorrhea. That's a terrible name for a cat. Can I? I don't quite know what y'all. Which one you're supposed to be? <gasps> Genki Bakun! This is gonna be the last time we get a chance to do this. Oh my god, Genki Bakun. We're never gonna see each other ever again, except in the background of Smash Bros. stage. Oh god, Genki Bakun, don't, don't make me cry, all right? Don't make me cry, all right? I, I, I gotta get wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I need to hear it. Just for one last time, for old time's sake. Say it for me, Genki Bakun. Say it. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's shit right there. Can't keep her going. You know how to talk dirty to me. You know just how to talk dirty to me. Momentum's really picking up for this final battle, huh? Even I'm starting to feel tense. Me. Damn, I know. You ain't scared of nothing, Kiki Bakun. Enbar's history goes back 1,400 years. That even predates the founding of the Empire. It's one of the sacred sites of the Saros faith, so it's a pretty big deal. But hey, no need to worry about the monastery while you're fighting the final battle. I've got it covered. 
I'll defend it to my last. I believe in you, Gabe Coon. You will literally one shot any enemy that comes anywhere m fucking three miles within this place. You'll just shoot them from a distance. You have that super counter move on where it doesn't matter where everyone attacks you from, you're going to counter back. Ah, lightning, ya boo! Because you are a god among men, Gabe Coon. One of a kind, and I will always remember you and whatever your n real name is. <laughs> I don't know, you got anything to say? It seems like the war is going to end soon. Looks like this game's about to end soon. Once the dust settles, It'll be back to rolling in fat stacks of gold for me. It'll be back to being Fi slash I guess slash baby Nanako. While on some business, I went to see how the kingdom capital is getting on. There are still some things to work out before it can be restored. But generally, things seem to have calmed down. It's on its way to resuming its old energy. Everything is back to normal. I think this will end up being a better kingdom than before. I really believe that. Yeah, you keep thinking that. <laughs> just wait. Give it another couple years. More shit will hit the fans. It's just how it always goes in these fucking stores, right? These fucking games. Maybe in real life. Isn't that right? Claude Kitty. Hey, it's Casper. It's a relief that we've made it this far without having to fight my father. You have to face him at some point. Sounds like you're scared. You have to face him at some point. Are you trying to scare me? What if he turns up while we're charging the capital? But still... I wonder what'll happen to him if we win. Probably chop his fucking head off. Hey, it'll be you. You'll be the one to do it, Casper. Just like you killed your childhood friend. Look at look, look at Casper. Look how little he gives a shit about that. <laughs> He's like, why did you make me do that, Professor? I don't know. Just to piss off the comments. <laughs> it's like this. I... I used to work for Cornelia in Ferdiad. <gasps> you? You, random witch man? I only followed her because I didn't want to die. But afterwards, I felt so ashamed I wanted to die anyway. <sighs> she made me wear this stupid hat wherever I went. Look at this. Look how ridiculous this is. Why does this have this thing dangling on the back? It kept whacking me on the butt everywhere I went. People were constantly grabbing it and pulling it off my head. Like, what the fuck? I still can't figure out why I did it. Anyway, I'm glad you did what you did. From now on, I'm going to devote myself to the kingdom and fight for what I believe in. You're going to die in the next fight. Once you set out on your next mission, you won't be able to have a proper meal for a while, right? You should eat up while you can. Build up your physical strength to prepare for the mission. Get big and strong! As in, maybe I should finally spend some of those fucking goddess messengers I've been sitting on for ages. Oh, no, this is the white cat. Uh, Ordelian. So y'all, uh, I'm guessing Lysithia, Lysithia cat? I don't know what Lysithia's last name is, so I, I guess so. I'm finally seeing all the other cats that were, like, in weird positions last last few months so good good to finally meet you not lady Ra lady rare cat i see you are not so holier than thou that you are not willing to come to buy peasant food from our modest cafeteria ah! i know it's pretty bad but it, it it gets the job done hey ladies we'll be heading for the capital soon so much rests on this moment will the war really be over if we take the capital it might not end right away definitely it might not end right away oh, probably right but we'll get there eventually. It's hard to know size what to say. Like, <laughs> I feel like that was the honest answer, but <laughs> they're like, nah, just say what they want to hear. I believe that a peaceful future is waiting at the end of all of this. What about you, Annette? I hope this is the final battle. Don't you, Professor? When the war is over, everyone will be busy with their own lives. Let's see how many more times we can say final battle before this is over. But let's all meet up again someday. Right here at Garrig Mock. We're gonna meet up after us over, Annette. Calm down. Jesus. You, his highness, my father, our monastery friends, the knights, everyone. All the people that are still left that we didn't kill brutally. That's a great idea. Ah, I wonder if that's possible. That's a fucking great idea, Annette. <laughs> it was just a silly whim I had, but I really love it. Aw. Oh, and I'll bake a bunch of desserts for it. Reunion sweets. All we have to do now is win. Let's get to it, Professor. All we have to do now is not die. That's the spirit. Aw, oh, I do love Annette. I think I am going to probably go with Flame, though. I just, I think about Annette, too. It's like, as much as I love her, I just find the idea with her and Felix just so cute. It's like, I feel like I can't, I can't deny that, you know? I can't den I deny that adorable potential ending. Voluntary. Door key. Chest key. Your water. Concoction. Oh, wait, wait, I got another door key again. I just realized. Hey, Foodlandy. I come from a land, Foodlandy. Uh, Morpheus Plum. And a goddess messenger. Wow, we're getting all the dang shit. Wow, one last hurrah from the Amoeba Gazebo. Oh, wait, there's one more. 
And, and then I look at this one and it's a fucking Dimitri Amiibo. Oh, what the fuck? Amiibo Gazebo, how did you know? And he's like, I just had a feeling. I'm like, oh God, I've been waiting for this moment. Thank you, Amiibo Gazebo. I will cherish it forever. If I can't have the real Dimitri, this will just have to do. A samurai and a knight walk into a bar. I've got a bit of Dusker blood in me. Vargas is our ancestral enemy. You also have some Dusker blood on you. you. Did you ever bother to wash these clothes? But if that man is going to be the king, I don't see any harm in lending him my blade. I believe that we can forge a proud new kingdom. What is up with everyone wearing fucking things? That, like, like, how can you see anything? <laughs> As you can tell, I'm expecting great things. I won't forgive you if you lose. I feel like they started just piling it on the NPCs here, like, because they knew by the end of the game, you know, all most people aren't going to recruit literally everybody. So, like, I mean, if we don't have people to talk to, then what are people going to do, right? Attacking the capital means crossing swords with the Emperor herself. I hope you won't be caught unprepared. I've heard that she'll stop at nothing in the pursuit of victory. Be careful of that Hubert, too, the minister of the Imperial household. They say he's a cunning strategist. I beat him like five times. He's fine. <laughs> he's literally nothing to me. Pardon me. Did you know a magnificent canal flows through downtown Enbar? I don't care. I'm going to be setting fire to it pretty soon. It's said to have been constructed under the guidance of St. Saros before the Empire was even formed. Ever since, that canal has been a major lifeline for the capital's development. And now this is how the Empire repays it. Truly, no good deed goes unpunished. You know, I, I brought up last episode how um, I just feel like the main story of of the, at least this route just feel like not nearly as good as some of like the character interactions. And apparently that is kind of the, the given consensus for for the blue lines is that compared to the other routes, the central story around it is just not as good, right? Like the big focus of this is Dimitri and his story and all the interactions between the characters here. Like that's this is a very character driven route compared to other routes, which have do actually have much better main stories, which is very interesting. That's that's really cool. That kind of means you're like, you really are kind of getting like a, a different experience each time, which I do like. I still wish they had both. I wish both of them were like as amazing. Like the main story was just, just as amazing uh, in terms of like development as the fucking character uh, moments and stuff was. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like I, I, I think it's bad or terrible or something, but that, but it's just like in comparison because the character moments in this game were just, they were so fucking good. I was like, Jesus Christ. It's so fucking good. In that rascal vein. Yeah, you know. I've been thinking about how we've got our own ideas about justice. And so does the Empire. And what's coming? It's not just a battle between us and them. It's our ideals that are fighting. Whoever wins will say they were right and the other side was wrong. And I get it. That's how it goes. Yeah, and I, you just get it, Professor, right? But nobody's willing to talk or compromise. So we'll fight to the death to prove the other guys wrong. It won't be an easy battle, but let's make sure we come back alive. Right, Professor? I really like Sylvain in this game, too. He was a really... He was a pretty great character. You know, it's like... For, for a character that seems so irredeemable, like, when you first see him... I think the first support you see with him, you're just like, this guy... There's no way they can make this guy good or interesting and not garbage not a big old pile of red hot garbage but they managed to do it hey felix you in here brooding he intends to speak to the emperor she's his stepsister i know but this seems risky i just stab her it's important you're against it it's important i know that if the two can settle this diplomatically that would be the best way out of this mess no more bloodshed Let's just hope he doesn't become so overwhelmed with emotion that he's unable to strike her down, should the need arise. I know, literally, it felt like only, like, five episodes ago, he was, like, ready and hard to murder her ass. I will say, that I think it's the other thing about this, like, I, well, I already kind of brought this up, but I, I still feel, um, Dimitri's change, you know, going back to normal. While I do think it's great, you know, and it, it, he kind of had to in order to progress the story, I still don't know if I believe it. I, I just, just where he was. Oh, wow. Fr frame rate drop. Um, it's hard to imagine that he would be able to get to get out of the hole he dug himself in, right? To, to become the person he used to be. Because, uh, I mean, while he isn't totally, he's definitely a lot calmer. And like, I mean, like I said, he was not that long ago, like really, 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 really wanted to kill Edelgard, you know? Um... <laughs> 
So, I mean, I think they did as gr as good as a job as they could have given the circumstances, but they did really write Dimitri super hard into crazy town, all right? For the first part of this. And they're writing great. I'm so glad you were assigned to the Blue Lion House, Professor. We made it this far, thanks to your guidance and leadership. Ah, uh, I'm gonna miss you too, Ingrid. Maybe I'll recruit you in another playthrough. There's a bitter fight ahead. That much is certain. You have my lance. And my short Zelda hair. We're counting on you. We will prevail. We're counting on you. Yes. Let's do this together. High five, girl. Hell yeah! What up, Shamia? years ago, Dagda and Bridget attacked the Empire from the west. Their final target was the capital. But they were countered at a port town long before they reached their destination. We spent a lot of time going back and forth, but at least we made it this far. Back and forth and in and out. Yep. We did it, though. We're back and we're ready to slay. And I can actually talk to this it's person. It's very likely that Lady Rhea is confined in the Imperial Palace. If so, then our strategy will be to gain control of the streets and then assault the castle. A street battle followed by a castle invasion. It's just one battle after another. It'll be tough, but we have to win for Lady Rhea. It'll be interesting to see how, like, how this ends, right? How is it going to work with Edelgard? Is she just going to die in this route? I mean, I imagine, like, in the other routes, Dimitri's probably never going to get back to normal. I think he needs, he needs busily for that. But similarly, I'd almost just wonder if, like, in some ways, the other people of the routes that you don't choose, right, in this story, whoever you pick is saved. But the, the, but the people that you didn't pick aren't, right? I mean, Claude isn't dead, but he's sort of kind of just left the picture like he's like yeah whatever I'm, I'm piecing out and i don't know it's just kind of hard to imagine that edelgar would survive this based on how we're going with the story catherine let me into the church let me in let me in oh. it looks like we're nearing the end of this struggle i'm sure lady Rhea is on tenterhooks waiting for me to swoop in and rescue her <laughs> sure whatever <laughs> Pro probably i doubt it no say what they want to hear <laughs> i was just kidding Pay me no mind. <laughs> but you really think so? Sure. Lady Rhea's not waiting for me, I know. No matter how much I might wish she were. She's waiting for you. Yeah, I don't even like her either. It's weird. Hey. Hey, it's me. Sorry. Merchant guy. I'm not the fighting type. All I can do is lend you the stuff you need. You're also apparently not a merchant type, despite your name. And, you know, pray to the goddess for your safety. Win, live, and return, okay? Mostly so you can pay me back for the stuff you borrowed. <laughs> oh, I am this close to fucking stabbing you, all right? You better watch out, motherfucker. <laughs> you better watch out. I didn't borrow shit from you or buy anything from you because you never sold me anything. You just stand here and talk to me about your dumb, stupid life. God damn it. I am so sick of these people. I'm glad this is over. <laughs> uh, all right, what we got? Uh, Mercedes. People keep saying my hair looks weird. Because it does look weird. Uh, really start craving sweets when I'm tired of stress. Wish there was some kind of yummy confection that I could make with the limited ingredients available to us. No one knows we use a few extra rations. You also have to learn and learn without sweets. Uh, have I had this one before? I feel like I did. Check the library for a simple recipe. I just what I had this one before. That reminds me. That reminds me. Hey, Demetri, you came back to, uh, to your old stomping grounds, your old brooding grounds. Our next battlefield will be the Imperial Capital. There will be no turning back. This is the point of no return, Professor. If you have any unfinished business, yeah. you had best settle it before we depart. It's not enough time. Leave it to me. I knew I could count on you. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Was the other one the right the right thing to say? That's not enough time. It's never enough time, Professor. No. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes. No. Yes. No. <gasps> I wasn't even moving, ma'am. Why did you suddenly activate? No. Wonder what what's going on in her life, huh? What do you think, Dimitri? I don't care. Yeah, me neither. All right, Gilbo, what grocery list of shit do you need for this for me now? That's not how just our cause may be. Just. In the end, war is nothing more than organized murder. I understand the desire to reach a conclusion, but we mustn't overlook the sins inherent in our deeds. I am well aware. I understand, of course. Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to preach. We have lost so much. And in return, we have taken much from our enemies. 
I pray we can put an end to this cycle of violence. This cycle of Fire Emblem games. No, that's in Nintendo's hands, Gilbert. That's in Nintendo's hands. Ah, right, what do you want? I have a request. I have a request. Give me some peach currants. Do it now. Fine. I've got your peach currants. That was fast. Thank you very much. Okay. Booyah, Grandma. Finally done with Gilbert and his stupid bullshit. I believe in you, but please ensure that His Highness survives as well. Do I need to do? The game won't let me. Won't let that shit happen. All right, I would get, literally get a game over if that happens. Fodlin's future would be in peril if we lost him. I would not be able to go on. Neither would I, man. Leave it to me. Thank you. All right. Please. Is there anything I, I can buy at this point? Uh, that is a negatory. Well, I'm glad that the statues at least will carry over. It's all that renown, so I don't have to like rebuy it all again. Oh, Cyril back in Lady Rhea's room sniffing a fucking undergarments again. Oh, God, Professor, what, what, what are you doing here? Cyril, this is the end of the game, right? Stop being weird for two seconds. Whenever I think about how we'll be seeing Lady Rhea real soon, I get happy and really get cleaning. We'll get there for sure, right? We'll see her again? No, she's dead. We'll meet her for sure. I don't know. I yes. I just gotta believe Lady Rhea is waiting for us in the capital. We just have to find her. God damn it, I just fucking realized I ah, I just got done talking about hey, I gotta remember to give the uh, items to the people I'm talking to. I fucking forgot now we have to go back around and fucking find them all again. God damn it! Ah. <laughs> just got fucking through talking about it, and then I forget about it two seconds later. God damn you brain! Alright, Alois, do you need it? Of course you don't. You're one of the few people who doesn't. Ah. Here we are, facing the final battle with the Empire. It's been a long, difficult struggle. It's been a long 200 hour fucking campaign. And this is only a third of the game. Damn. We have to get Lady Rhea back. And we have to crush the Empire in the name of Captain Geralt. He's watching over us now, protecting us. I know he is. What? Why just don't say my name? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm totally, totally watching over whatever the fuck you guys are doing. Rhea will be somewhere in the city. I wonder if she can sense us coming. The battle will soon be upon us. Let us both be at our best for what is to come. Wish I could transform into a dragon. Can you do that? Is that a th what about Flame? Maybe I can do it. Maybe all the green haired people can do it. That seems to be the law, right? All right, Seth, you do need shit. The battle will soon, Seth, the battle will soon commence for Middle Earth. This is what Have some fishing floats. This is Fish. Dear Goddess. Pray again? What are you praying for? For your safety. Aww, thanks, Marianne. I'll do all I can to survive. But please, please don't die out there, Professor. You too, Marianne. Don't you demon die me. I swear to doodle. I know it's just getting really heavy, but in the meantime, have an armor best stuffy. I, ap I, ap I appreciate this armor bear stuffy. Benbar's streets are paved with unhappy memories, Professor. I've avoided the damned place ever since I abandoned my nobility. Swore never to return. All right. Now, here we are. To return in this manner. Well, I can't say it is something I ever imagined. Especially as I'm returning to end the Empire. What a strange feeling. Breaking one's history. Breaking the chains of fate. That's some tea leaves. Oh, I love tea. I was born in Enbar. My mother and father met in a church there. Not too long after, I was brought into the world. I do not understand how war can happen in such a precious place. It is most regrettable. Aw, oh, it's okay, Flane. We're gonna get through this shit, and then you and I are gonna probably get hitched. I don't know, Professor. Shop and have a tasty baked treat. Ooh, yay! I can already tell we're gonna have a very fruitful, long-lasting potential marriage. Especially if I'm as immortal as you guys. Life can be tough, you know, but if you've got your friends to help you through, it can be a lot easier. It can leave a lot less of a pain in the tit. Maybe you butt heads sometimes, but that's okay. That's how you build bonds, right? And I've got friends, Professor, plenty of those. It's true love that seems to have passed me by. Yep, even at the end of this fucking game, I still haven't found anybody. Ah, this round is going to be stuck with Hanuman. Yeah, pretty much. You should relax. There's still hope. Time to give up. There's still hope. But where is my true love to be found? Where is my ray of hope? It's it's you, right, Professor? Come on, say it's you! 
Ew, no way. At this point, you're the only man who pays attention to me. I guess I'll have to take what I can get. <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> God damn it. No, I should have fucking said, yeah, you you left to fucking die. You don't deserve these gemstone beads. <laughs> hey, apparently, apparently Sylvain likes board games. A fun activity in which everyone can play the game of life. Oh. Dude, I love board games. Fuck yeah. Dude, yeah, you just get professor. You just like know the game of life I like to play. Woo! So I said I had to get one last good Sylvain moment before this game's out over. Thanks for the Golly G Willikers, thanks, Professor! Thanks for the That's what what I've learned from this playthrough in particular is that you are a massive dork. It's pretty sure it's the pot calling the kettle black. Shut up, Casper! Have armor bear stuffy! Put him with the bear and your other bear in your room. Alright, I think I've just finally used one of these things. We're gonna do it with the dude, cause why not? Um And we're gonna use some some of the dankest shit we got. Which, oh my god, I don't have enough for it. I don't even have enough to use the damn gosh Wester because I don't have a Santa new treasure. Are you kidding me? Oh, I use this one though. But so I want the one that's the ultimate cuisine. Where the fuck do you get Xanadu treasure? Some rare thing you gotta grow. Probably something that you gotta save scum for too. What if these actually stack? Can you like do this and then get like other ones? Well, I got a goddess messenger. I want to use it at least once. So here we go. I'm gonna cook this shit up. I haven't done this since the literally the beginning of the game. I don't even remember what it looks like. <laughs> I like cooking. This was a good talk. I like it when I do anything. To know what you are doing. I, I don't know shit. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Mm. Neat. Has ended for today. Oh, well, it's not for uh, today. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably once per. You probably can, but you can only do it once per week, so... right? But the effects do last the entire month. Um, all right. All right. I'm going to go on a spa day with this time with Mercedes. Cause maybe I can get her to her S plus rank. I don't think I can, but we'll try. All right. I believe I am finished. Just did some training on my own. Didn't level anything up. All done. Somebody brought that today. Uh, oh, I guess we'll do it after this. All right. Let's get to A with horses. It's really going to do anything, which it didn't. Okay. I'm going to level up fists that here. For Casper, A plus, yay! Oh, All right, good shit. Uh, whole savagery day after day is depressing. Do you have any ideas for fun things I could do to feel better, Professor? Why don't you walk to a nearby town? Why don't you ask a girl out? Why don't you sip a cup on a cup of tea? Ask a girl out. I see. That. Might yeah, yeah. You just okay. All right, let's move on. Oh wait, but first, Manuela's birthday. Uh, sure. So I guess. Maybe we get a good look at that tender glee rich. Okay, if everyone's mint tea, I got mint leaves. Is that the same thing? Well, well, inviting me to your room. <laughs> That's intriguing. Oh, Lord. What a lovely. Uh, scene. yep. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, goodness, it's drizzling all over my bare bosoms. Oh. Uh, Manuela, it's come on. Good. I've seen your, your boobs like enough this LP, all right? You think I'm not even phased by that shit anymore? All right, dreamy nights, last battle, things you find romantic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, reliable allies, the existence of Crest, shareable snacks. Uh. Reliable allies? Okay, fuck. Strange fish in the pond, likable allies, gifts you'd like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I would love to receive this shit. Oh, Lord, here we go. Am I that terrible of a woman? So I'm a little unkempt. What of it? Uh, disagree. Command, admonish. Wait, wait, admonish. Admonish. Yes. Okay. Okay. That one still. Okay. That one made enough sense. All right. No, you're not like that. There we go. Oh, thank fuck. I thought all of them were like, yes, yes, and yes. All right. Good. Going deep, guys. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that sensual gaze of yours. <laughs> Keep it up. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's that? <gasps> mm, yeah. Oh, I see you're taken in by my beautiful skin. If you keep staring like that, I might get the wrong idea. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Boob physics. Good Lord. <laughs> what was it like? Her, 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 like, boobs were like 12 or something on the fucking boobage scale. Good lord. Good fucking lord. Stare at me more, Pastor. Do it. Stare at my tender cleavage. Uh, all right. 
Stop staring at Manuel's boobs. Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be waiting, Professor. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, God. Can't imagine what terrifying ending you have with her. <laughs> you get tied to the bed and you don't get let go ever. All right, I decided to do Felix and Sylvain. I'm just kind of curious to see if they have like unique dialogue. It'll be fun. I'm glad for your help. Wow, really? Nothing? Happy now? Lame. <laughs> Happy now? Perfect. Whatever. Gross. Gross stains me. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that. I get it. I gotta kill things. Okay, I'm gonna do a seminar, but we're gonna do it with Manuel this time, so Mer uh, Mercedes can maybe get. Uh, up there. Woo! This works. I'll do my best with Sword. Sword. Looks like I'm getting it. Hey, I can heal I things can now. Anna's here too. Okay. That was B plus in horses. Oh, Did do shit. That All right, level up Hanuman's authority. To see. Die in desperation. Happy now. Peridian. It's all instinct now. Oh, that magic range plus one. Nice. I've learned a thing or two from. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Freaking Catherine up to D plus. Catherine, I still don't know what you're doing here. Oh. Alright, level up in authority for Eloise. Really Good. How do you like? Oh my god, perfect again. Every single time. It's always perfect with Sylvain and Felix, apparently. Brah. There must be more. I can more do. power. There is always more to learn. Uh, oh god, man. freaking Mercedes, how close were you? Oh, you were so close. I almost got you there. I'll maybe get one of the final battles. Oh wait, 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 we're not done yet. We might be able to get in this last seminar. Perhaps. Uh I'm really getting it. Yeah, dude. Uh Interesting. Oh, I didn't get it. I was so close again. Well, I'm at the Grange Plane though. Ward for Anna. Ah, oh, it's so close. Professor, do you think Edelgard will show up? <laughs> I doubt it. She will. Well, well. It's been a long time, Professor. And hello to you too, Dimitri. What up? Edelgard, I did not think you would actually accept my request. <laughs> this works? Damn! Now die, bitch! Call it a win. Well then, what did you want to talk about? I will get straight to the point. Why did you start this war? There had to be a way to change things in your territory without the need for so many senseless casualties. It may be hard to believe, but this is the way that leads to the fewest casualties in the end. Don't you see? How could I? Countless people have already lost their lives in this conflict. Clear to elaborate? The longer we took to revolt, the more victims this crooked world would have claimed. I weighed the victims of war against the victims of the world as it is now, and I chose the former. I believe that I have chosen the best path, the only path. Even after seeing the faces of those who have suffered the ravages of war, you would still force them to throw their lives away for the future? You are obsessively devoted to this war and deaf to the screams of its victims. You cannot change the cycle of the strong dominating the weak with a method like that. You're wrong. That very cycle is exactly what I have devoted my life and my power to destroying. If after all of this, you believe the weak will still be weak, that is only because they are too used to relying on others instead of on themselves. Yes, perhaps someone as strong as you are can claim something like that. But you cannot force that belief onto others. People aren't as strong as you think they are. Not everyone can wield a big beefy axe as big as yours. There are those who cannot live without their faith and those who cannot go on once they have lost their reason for living. Your path will not be able to save them. It is the path of the strong, and so it could only benefit the strong. <laughs> so you consider me strong, do you? Even if one clings to their faith, the goddess will never answer them. Countless souls will be lost that way, living without purpose. And I can be counted among those who have died that way as well. But that's why I must change this world on behalf of the silent and weak. Cooper's just like, I'm just, I'm just window dressing. Hi. And do you intend to become a goddess yourself? 
Will you steal the power to take action from the broken-hearted masses you claim to defend? The ones who can truly change the way of the world are not the rulers, but the people. Pushing your own sense of justice and your own ideals onto even one other person is nothing more than self-righteousness. Maybe it is self-righteousness, but it doesn't matter. Someone has to take action and put a stop to this world's endless, blood-stained history. Do you not believe in the power of the people to join together and rise up? No! The people suck! Humans are weak creatures, but they are also creatures who help each other, support each other, and together find the right path. I have learned that humans are capable of all that from the professor and from everyone in my life. Yeah, for me! I did stuff! I doubt a highborn person like yourself could know how the poor feel or what motivates them. This is nonsense, though I'm finally starting to understand how you feel. But that makes it even clearer to me that we can never fully understand each other. I feel the same. I finally understand what you believe is right. Goodbye, Dimitri. Wait, Edelgard. There is something I must give you. Eat this, this bitch. Is for you. Use it to cut a path to the future you wish for. And I will rise up to meet you there. El. <sighs> Oh. Ah. Elle, so it's true. You're really going away? Going back home? Oh my god, baby Dimitri, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Back when apparently Edelgar was a brunette. There's nothing I can do about it. It's all happening so fast. I'm as surprised as you are. It's actually Chris Hackney that's doing Dimitri's voice right now, right? That's definitely Edelgar, but... Elle. Um, here. I want you to have this. No way. No way. No way. Uh, maybe Ash, who's doing his voice. There's no way Chris Hackney's putting his voice that high. Elle, listen to me. No matter how hard things get, you can't give in, okay? You've got to cut a path to the future you wish for, no matter what. It's a dagger? Why would you give me something like this? Oh, I think it's Edelgar's voice. Actually, no. Actually, that might be Hilda's voice actress. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to give you. <laughs> oh, poor little dorky Dimitri. Edelgard, what are you doing? It's time to go. Hurry and get in the carriage. We're late for my foot massage. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Uncle. I have to go now. I, I remember now. You gave me a dagger all those years ago. <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. I should have given you something that would have made you happier. Perhaps. At the time, I was quite flustered by such a dangerous gift. I left without giving you a proper response. And that was the last time we saw each other. True. It is a sweet memory. With a bitter ending. I'm afraid it will do no good to reminisce, Dimitri. That girl you knew back then is gone. As good as dead. Dead. But I'll tell you now what I wasn't able to tell you back then. Thank you, my dear forgotten friend. Because of you, I never lost my heart. As for the future, that will be decided in battle. King of Fargus, as the Emperor, I shall await your arrival in Enbar. Enbar. Aw, uh, that was a nice moment. It's amazing that it took till now for us to actually like hear what Edelgar was trying to accomplish, really. <laughs> Wait, why are you doing this thing? With a decisive battle ahead, busily visit the cemetery. Daddy! I could use really use your help right now. Sorry, Sorry busy, busy being, being dead. dead. Sorry. <sighs> it looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day. I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Oh, shit, here we go. Someone I love. Dimitri! Sorry, I thought if I maybe smash the D-pad strong enough, I'd be able to break the goddamn game enough to be able to fucking give it to the person I love. What the, what? Do I have to share my life with? Uh, excuse me? 
No one. I wish to die alone. Wait, so I can actually do that? Even though she's not here? Isn't she technically already there? But she's faded out, unlike the other ones. That's interesting. Huh. I'm actually curious about that, but now nah, I'm going with flight. <laughs> oh, he, why, does he, why does it make you pick there? Those pieces of shit. They gotta wait till the end. Nah, we gotta make the decision now, so you can't easily load it up. So you wanna play through the fucking 200 hour game again to be able to see the other endings. All right, don't delete this one. Keep that one there, just in case I'm crazy enough to try to wanna go through this again. Um, all right, I think I'm pretty much good to go. Assault on Enbar, here we go. With Fort Mercius conquered, it's time to approach Enbar, the Imperial capital. Imperial forces stand ready in the city streets, attempting to resist to the bitter demon end. Time to die, bitch. Get ready to see you, the internal flame, middle guard. The Kingdom Army, having gathered new troops and significant strength, commences its march towards the Imperial capital of Enbar. In response to their movements, Emperor Edelgard orders her trusted retainer, Hubert, to the front lines to meet the Kingdom Army head-on. The two forces clash in the city streets. Time to kill Hubert once for all. I'm so sick of him and his stupid hair. His stupid gorgeous locks. Fuck him. All right, assault on Enma. It's time. Oh, just hopping right in there. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Am I just going with eight people here? We're we split up or anything? Fuck, really? You just give me eight people to work with? Uh, who we got? Imperial soldier. It's almost that I have. A, there's an assassin here, who's got a something with Shamir. Oh, no, we're over here. Okay, we got, no, we got a shit ton of people. Okay, good, good. Um, Assassin. Oh, Petra. Really, with Shamir. Oh, gosh, she's got the Sword of Zoltan. That's right, I did not actually kill you. Ah, oh, there's dragons also. Dragons! Uh, there's Hubert. The Dark Bishop. Um, is this the only other named person? Oh, wait, no, Dorothea. Have I actually seen Dorothea uh, time skip yet? I don't know if I have, actually. Yeah, you're doing good, girl. I think you always did kind of look good. Um, it's a warlock. Her magic actually is not as absurd as uh, the Sizia's was. I thought she'd be a dancer or something. I actually get a lot of people for this fight. How many in 12? Good Lord. This is a big, this is a hefty, this is gonna be a hefty battle. I see, so we've got me over here and Dimitri leading his group over here. All right, let's do it. Feed the enemy commander. Gates to the Imperial capital have been broken. All troops, storm in. The Emperor is within reach. Imperial troops are dug in across the city. Let's cut through them and carve a route to the palace. Cut us a path. <laughs> the savior king arrives, hands red with blood. Let's give him a royal welcome. Artillery, once the enemy is in range, fire at will. Reinforcements will fly in shortly. Keep your focus and hold steady until they arrive. Oh boy. Big guns. Oh god. Sorry, Dorothea. I'm afraid you have to die. Oh my god, what's her range? Uh, some absurd shit. I need to get a uh, Shamir on a fucking. Uh, artillery again. That shit was busted and I loved it. My turn. My turn. Hit these guys. Boom. I'll dirty my hands if I must. Him with a spear. You Seth. You shall not survive. I won't allow it. Level up for Seth. Had I nice. Fuck that guy up, Cyril. Boom. Ow. That's what you get. Good stuff. All in his service. All in his service. Oh, back in that bitch. Level up for Marianne. Nice. Smoke the sky. Annette. Uh. Boom. What's next? Level up for Annette. Good. Great job. Okay, here we go. 
hope everyone in the company is safe. They're all dead, Dorothy, and so are you. Uh, that face brings back some memories. It's a shame we don't have time to catch up. Uh-oh. Are you attacking me? You're attacking Ingrid. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. You miss. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Oh. oh, God. Didn't kill him. Tanky ass. Piece of shit. Oh, Lord. Careful, Cyril. Good dodge. Oh boy. Oh, thank God you dodged that. I have lived many years. Oh, Cyril got hit by a fucking critical piece of shit. I hate you. Or said if did. Fuck. Fuck. Is this guy is this guy's on an, an artillery? On an onager. Yeah. Fuck. We're gonna kill this guy. Bad. Okay, we lived through that one. Good. Hit him with the shit. Gather it. You're done. You're done. Blah, power. Oh my god. Such demon energy. Horse slayer. You took me lightly. Level up for Ingrid. I must nice. How best to Ooh, defensive tactics. Ooh, apparently so. Okay, so that artillery, despite being a magical thing, does seem to be effective against uh, against Ingrid as well. Go put her over there. Have Mercedes heal her. Ooh, Cyril actually did almost die. Fuck. Have I earned no reprieve? Oh wait, is that, no wait, that was a, a Seth. Fuck me, Seth. Come on, man. This guy needs to fucking go. Let's see if I can get him with a critical. Yes. Yes. If you must. Nice shot there, Dimitri. Smoke this guy. Come here. Uh, boom. Feels good to fight for a cause. Fine work. Get the shit out of here. Uh. I've gotten stronger. Oh, it's actually a chest over here. I didn't even see it. So hidden so well. Heal him, Hanuman. Reinforcements will be here any minute. Let's draw them in. Just like we planned. Oh god. If it's our destiny to kill each other, then I cannot, will not, respect the goddess. My only request is that if you win, you'll at least have the decency to kill me quickly. Okay, fine. Ow! <sighs> she says right before she shoots me in the face. <laughs> Ooh! Don't lose! Oh God! Master Great Lord! Now, how best to use this skill? Para Para Celine. Shit! Oh, bitch! I'm gonna have to redo that. It's because he had the the other toss, fucking, da uh, lance on. Unfortunately. Which was great, because I got to kill this guy, which was very which needed to go, but instead of My doing turn? instead of that. Up. See if I can kill him with my Shamir. Yeah, here we go. There we go. That oh he's alive, you ass with one HP! Oh you sack of fucking shit. Alright, fine. Kill him with Potaman single meteor left. I'm me. so mad. Ha! Missed! Okay. Good thing you did too, because I might have uh, heard a lot. Really no critical? There's Can't hold me back. Well love for Catherine. I fight for Nice. I fight for Guess strategy? what? Yeah, that's right. Lady Rhea! Ready when you are. Okay, Ingrid, smoke the smoke Dorothea. Kill her with the burning quake. Don't even risk her counterattacking. Die! Edelgard, forgive me. I can't. Shut up, Dorothea. Dead. So Dorothea has been defeated. We will need to thin their numbers as well, or else. If House Varley's troops arrive in time, we may be able to flank the kingdom's army. Valley. 
Oh, my skill for Warlock. I will no doubt make you. Bow Breaker. Going for the kill. Going for the kill. Ah! Boom. Sending their numbers. I need to be that good. Yeah, you do. Okay, there's a, there's there's an artillery over here. I gotta get Shamir to that artillery. Oh, there we go. Made good progress. S plus, we did it. White Home Fair. Hmm. It's actually a different skill. To me, it's like plus five damage to her like faith abilities, maybe. Oh god, dragons are coming! Target! Ow! Ow! They come! War is for the wealthy. Uh oh. We don't even have enough to eat. A thief? I'm sure the goddess won't punish us for a little bit of thievery here and there. What is this? Just some random dude? Putting Demetri on these fucking arms here. The Onager. Might work well. Oh, in his search. Ugh, big punch. Level up for the do. Piece of shit. I'd better keep up. Get these guys over here. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Master Great Lord. No. Just the power of Hot Clap. Uh, you're in my way. You're in my way. Uh, You've gotten stronger. Just a hindrance. Ah. Uh, you defeat me. Said it. Left. Kill them, please. The Thank you. That stupid down. fucking archer. Okay, that greatly diminishes the range of uh, the enemy. Smoke this chick. Allow me to dip the backflip for you. Boom. I shall not stray. Okay, here they come. Drag it. Ow, I didn't do shit. <laughs> oh, what whole damage. What am I gonna do? Ha! Ah, you didn't even hit me with her one whole damage. Oh god. Motherfucker! <laughs> Don't you know you're oh Okay, well oh okay, well there we go. Yes, yeah, got it! Won't hold back. <laughs> we keep missing each other! Oh god, there's a thief over there too? Fuck. Oh god, there's a lot of dragons uh, flying around me. So sure I feel about this. Eat this motherfucker. Spow lightning! Boom. Don't fucking... Okay, good. I swear to God, if you miss... Witness. Shadow their shield. Witness my resolve. Die, you dumb bird. That's right, come over here. Get over here. It's just fucking Umbra Steel. Don't give a shit about that. Here is something to believe Fuck this guy up. Ah. Dance. Dance for me, Marianne. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Ugh. And boom. Dead. Eat my axe, dickhead. Right in the face. Come on, you. Level up for Hanuman. Good stuff. Um, bruh. Stop trying to hit me for one damage, damn it. Oh, you got, motherfucker. I'm a tank yet again. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> like two popped up and then another one's like, hey, I'm here too. Kill this guy, set it. <laughs> Destiny unfurls. All right, Shamir, get on the fucking archery. Kill everybody, including Pet Petra all the way to the shit over there. Gosh, she, oh my God, the range is fucking ridiculous. She can hit the guys that are over all the way over here. Jesus. Let's go in this guy. Oh. Critical. Exemplar. Is he dead? Uh, yeah, he's dead. That's why Shamir's a god. Guys, she had a bunch of chests here. 
I'm gonna have to give like Cyril or somebody some keys at some point and have him fly around back over to them. I wonder if I, if I attack from a, this distance. I, I actually will. I, I think I will get the voice things. If I have Shamir attack Petra from this distance. Because th that's what Dorothea did to me earlier. I'm gonna hit these motherfuckers some fucking big shit. Boom! Hit them both. Ooh, Defiant Avoidance! That's her thing? Didn't actually move that guy that time. Go ahead and shoot this guy. Get that armor down. Booyah. More humble steel. Taste the power of Ragnarok. Alright. Fish him off. Catherine. Boom. Alright. Just one bird left. And he is gonna hit us with some shit. Ow. And these guys coming from the rear. Hit her, Shamir. I cannot bring myself to kill you. You're a princess of Bridget, a hostage of the Empire. Ooh. That was the truth in the past, but it is a different truth now, Shamir. I am the will of the Emperor. Interesting. Some interesting lore there. In that case, I won't hold back. Die! No use. Oh, okay, cool. What was the hit chance on hitting her? Oh, it was 36. No fucking wonder. What the fuck? Why is she so hard to hit? I guess because she's an assassin, but in a character assassin, so that makes her extra, extra dodgy. Maybe shoot that guy instead. Boom, critical hit on him. Still alive, but it's all right. Cause Cyril's gonna kill him and finish him off. No way. Boom. Good shit. Wyvern Lord, I Defiant really Crit. It. Neat. So I guess when he's low on HP, he'll get, like, bitter critical. I am prepared. Probably. Oh, damn it, Catherine. Level up for me. Son of a bitch, really? Get this guy fucking weak point. Screw this. Oh my god, 222 ja damage, Jesus. Calm down, Annette. All right, finish him off. There. I'm not gonna shit about breaking these guys' shields. I'm just gonna umbral you steel. Ready when you are. <laughs> Feels like I could like ignore Petra if I really wanted to, honestly. Oh wait, no, she's coming. <laughs> Ow. How's out of range? What the hell? Gosh, she's got the Sword of Zoltan! Is that actually what she's equipped with? It is. She's equipped with it, and she drops it. Uh, is that a th or any chance you could, uh... Oh my god, no. <laughs> Look at the hit chance! Oh my god! What is the speed? Oh my god! Holy shit! No fucking wonder her speed breaks the stat cap. Jesus, 53? Oh, that's no good. That is no good. That is very, very not good. Oh my God. Even Shamir with her godlike speed cannot hit her. Fuck. I wonder if Demetra can hit her. Probably not, to be perfectly honest. I think we just gotta wait for her to come to us, honestly. Shoot that guy. Boom. Didn't die. Fuck these guys up. Boom. What's my strategy? Die. Allow me to my strategy is to kill. Let's keep our guard. Smoke that guy. Shit out of here. Uh. Oh god, they're coming. They's a coming. Oh lord, they're coming. Missed. Let's see them handle this. Missed also. Oh, wait. No, no, they didn't. Did he swipe Tomahawk? What the? Oh, they swiped it from the chest. And Catherine's dead. I see. So that's what he's doing. He's trying to steal this shit. Uh, we have this brutal ranged axe and hurl enemies for deep impact. That kind of sucks. This guy's just coming out and just stealing this shit. So because I didn't fucking. Ugh. That dude over there, boom. Fuck that guy. Level 
floor for Felix. Strong. Good shit. Okay, kill that guy. Boom. Level up for Annette. Wait. Damn it. Smoke this dude. Level up for Catherine. Good stuff. It's our chance to prevail. Boom. Take full advantage. Level up for Anuela. Good stuff. Uh oh. Oh, that's the guy. The guy's gonna run away. And for Bridget, I will be defeating all of you. Oh Lord, watch out, Dimitri. Oh fuck me, Dimitri, you missed. And that shit fucking died. So this and Dimitri's dead. Jeez, Petra's a fucking force to be reckoned with here. Oh, thank God. Oh, Shmir. More reinforcements, eh? And this time it looks like a fair number. Shit. It's a, oh, it's another fucking dragon. Jesus. Go away, dragons. There's another dragon on this side, too. Hey, dragon, kill this guy. Are you guys working together? Shoot that chick. I'll do my best. All right, do it again. Shoot her again. Dead. Oh, God, Petra's coming. She's a coming. I'm a scared. Let's go. Seriously, can anyone fucking hit her? It does not look like it. Cyril's going to fly over here and stop the thief guy from running away. Die, dickhead. This guy. Right Here she comes. Oh, boy. Oh, she's got some kind of move when she doesn't do an action right and increases her dodge ability even more. I think. I think that's what's happening here. Uh, grants plus 20 crit when foes HP is less than 50%. That's not it. Uh, oh. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. She has alert stance. Fuck. Grants plus 30 during combat with a foe two or more spaces away. Mm. Trying her with Astro, maybe. I don't know. For Adrestia Shut up. Oh, she dodged all of it. Uh, well, 27% chance of hitting her. Jesus Christ. Can somebody hit this bitch, please? Uh, that's the problem with the, the move from multiple spaces away, right? Oh, uh, I was looking at the... What? I'm such an idiot. I was... I was looking at the critical hit and thinking that was a hit. Such a fucking idiot. Why did I think that would work? They have like literally no no chance sense. of hitting her. No one can hit her. Nobody can hit her. Seriously, legit, legitimately no one can hit her. And I'm not sure, so I'm really not sure what to do here. Seriously, what, what do I do? I can't hit her. <laughs> Just gonna get one lucky shot in there. Shut up. <gasps> oh, did I actually hit her? No way she does. <laughs> I did it. No, I didn't. Slightly higher chance of hitting her. No use. Nope. I'm a scared, sis. I'm scared. I need to get the fuck away from her. We're all gonna group together here. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me, Petra. Kill the stupid assassin, asshole. Ah. Zero. Kill this stupid ass assassin guy. I know just the thing. Boom. That's right. Bring him closer to the, the exit. Perfect. Okay. 47% chance. Get her. Yeah. Oh, God. Edelgard. I will not be keeping my promise. Give me forgiveness. Please. Oh, jeez. Petra, you were fucking terrifying. Oh. So does Zoltan belongs to me now. It belongs to Annette. Oh, thank God. Shoot down this dumb dragon. I'm gonna punch a dragon. Here I go. On my own. <laughs> Swift strikes. Hope. Hope. All right, that dragon's dead. Had I nice. Level up. Okay. Almost there. Just gotta get over to these guys here. I can lure them out now. Level up for Mercedes. Stuff. Why is the range on these guys so far? Oh, they've got this stupid fucking move. I can shoot from three miles away. It's a shame she can't reach them from here. What? 
damn she can do this much damage to mercedes the fucking resistance tank oh she's not as much of a resistance tank as i remember or at least not anymore who is resistance tank now oh sorry i was flame flame was the resistance tank mercedes not so much anymore smoke this guy cyril you fucking missed come on i aim for greatness Ha! Fucking counterattack. That gambit move on her. Or the, the move, the counterattack move. Good. Glad it worked. I wasn't sure if she, she might have been too far away. I know there's actually, there is a distance to it. A minimum distance. Cyril, I swear to God, if you fucking miss. Actually, just hit him with the, hit him with the ship, please. Good. Ha! Oh, give me a tomahawk. Shoot down this damn dragon. Shoot him out of the sky. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Gonna get this freaking sniping asshole over here. The same move. While we're at it, set it, grab some keys. I guess technically that one guy opened this chest over here. Um, are there any other chests here? I don't think so. I think it's just that one chest right here. So, all right. Dragon's still coming over here. Go ahead, try to hit Ingrid. You did hit her. But she hits back! Motherfucker! Oh, I love that. You took me lightly. <sighs> Good. Stupid sniping dickheads. Does this person have the same move? Uh, they do not. The range is much more limited. Just the power of Excalibur. Boom. Kill him. Okay, try to hit him this time, Catherine. The uh, okay. Pterodactyl's dead. The dragon. Get him, Cyril. Uh, cut him off of the pass. Okay. Put a bar of HP down. Oh, man, you think you can kill this guy? Uh... No, fuck it. Move back. Ow. Alright, he's charging up. But Cyril... Says that ain't fucking shit. You ain't gonna do shit. Boom. That's one Cyril. Okay. Uh... It's a decent chance of missing him. Is he staying on like a spot that... Yep. All right. I am hoping to God I can fucking hit him with this shit. It's almost a shame to kill you. Not even death will make you consequential. Shut up. Do not try to oh fuck yeah! Get him, Seth. <laughs> Boom. We must place our faith in Her Majesty. Her victory is everything. Oh, Hubert's finally fucking dead. Thank God. Oh. Thank you for one-shotting that. The way to the palace is clear. Let's move. Thank you for one-shotting that one, Seth. Whew. All right. MVP was Catherine. I am now motivated. Okay. Um. I'm actually not sure if there's... Is there going to be a save point after this? It probably is. Uh. So let's watch the cutscene. Send your platoons to capture Enbar. There is to be no needless killing or pillaging. Understand? Yes, your highness. Edelgard awaits us. We will advance our main forces straight to the palace. Ah, uh, we finally made it here. Yes, it has truly been a long war. We have only made it this far because of you. It's truly been a long let's play. Actually, no. I will save that sentiment for after we win this battle. We will advance our troops and confront her. We must strike down the Emperor and end this war. My life is yours, your highness. My life for an Azul of I something. this and go back home in victory. I'll do the very best I can. On my honor as a knight, I will not lose. I know the goddess is watching over us. Let's be sure to return home safely. All of us. 
As a citizen of Fargus, I will fight with everything I have. <laughs> Is this what a do-or-die situation looks like? You would best give it your all too, General. Go and win. Be the boar that you <laughs> And don't you dare. <laughs> oh my god. Felix is like, you know what? Go in there and fuck her up, Dimitri. Go. Be the best boar you can be. <laughs> Let's go! Yes. I will... No. We will win this. Together. As Blue Lions. The time has nearly come. And so have I nearly come. I, yeah. Yes, the anomaly should present itself shortly. However. What the fuck anomaly? There's no reason to fret. Besides, it's far too late to second guess. Now, assume your position. I can't promise your safety if you remain here. Very well. <sighs> this pain is nothing. Compared to what I have already suffered. Ooh, what's she doing? Oh no. Holy fucking shit, Edelgard. Apparently she is assuming a final boss form. Oh my god, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Oh boy, all right. Well, <laughs> wow, I was not expecting a uh, ah, uh, I wasn't expecting like a transformation. I thought I might like end up fighting the other dudes. Like, I th this is what I was thinking was gonna happen. I'm gonna go fight Olgar, beat her, and like, that'll go. Will you help join me along the way? Yes, I think I will. And then other bad guys come out and they're like, Hi, oh, you didn't think you'd see us ever again, did you? Granted, you haven't actually seen us in probably like 30 episodes, but yes, we're the main bad guys. Ha ha. Kranya's back, right? Ha <laughs> ha, oh, I'm still alive too. Like, oh, damn it. They kill Edelgard and then they transform into their super demon form. But apparently Edelgard's going to do it for us. Okay. Well, I guess next episode then will be uh, the final battle. I actually wasn't sure if there were going to be just one final battle after this? Or if there was going to be multiple, like, battles? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to find out, though, next time, guys. I don't know. I don't know if next one will be really short or or, or what. I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking there probably could be multiple battles, though. So I feel like it's probably be better to end here for now. Um, But uh, I think one thing's for certain that next episode will be the final episode of the Blue Lion's Route. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe for an already become Piggy Penguin. For this sale be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.